The White House press secretary is reasserting President Trump's opposition to cancel culture. One America's Hans Hubbard has more. The Trump administration is reiterating its position in favor of preserving symbols of American history and protecting them from what the president calls cancel culture. During a briefing Monday, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany turned to recent instances of violence across the country, lamenting the loss of innocent life at the hands of assaults fueled, in her view, by leftist politics. Radical left-wing mobs seek to tear down our monuments and our memorials. Everyone from George Washington to Abraham Lincoln to Frederick Douglass and even Gandhi. Misguided movements such as defund the police seek to leave our communities more vulnerable than ever. Case in point, this weekend alone. In New York, there were 44 shootings with 11 killed. In Chicago, 75 people were shot with 13 killed. And tragically, at least five of these individuals were children. Several children succumbed to criminal violence over the weekend, including Sicoria Turner, an eight-year-old girl in Atlanta, whose death, according to local police, could perhaps perhaps have been prevented had illegal barricades not been erected in the area. The president, McKenney asserted, utterly rejects these atrocities and the divisive agenda that engenders them, seeking instead to promote unity of purpose among Americans of all backgrounds. This July 4th, the president said, our movement is based on lifting all citizens to reach their fullest God-given potential. Never forget, we are one family and one nation. We will teach our children to cherish and adore their country so they can build its future. A large portion of the blame for enabling these violent ideologies, McKenney stated, lays with false narratives and a refusal to engage with deferring opinions, rather than jumping to conclusions and assigning accusatory labels to those who do not adhere to accepted modes of thought and expression in conformity with progressive ideology. This is where the president comes from, and this is where the president stands. And he actually um, hinted at this in his July 4th speech uh, to those in the media who falsely and consistently label their opponents as racist who condemn patriotic citizens, who offer a clear and truthful defense of American unity. We want a clear and faithful defense of American history and unity. And when you level false charges, you not only slander me, you slander the American people. He believes the American people are good. This so-called cancel culture has been the subject of much debate in recent years, with op-eds on the subject appearing frequently in some of the nation's most prominent newspapers. One characteristic of the phenomenon seems widely accepted. A person is often cancelled when they say or do something deemed problematic according to the norms of progressive ideology, regardless of whether the perceived offence occurred years ago or whether it is actually characteristic of the offender's life when considered as a whole. This very standard is seemingly being applied to historical figures, says McKenney, disregarding important contributions or their overall legacy in favor of condemnation for what could be isolated incidents that run counter to progressive standards, leading to the cancellation of those formerly held as heroes of American history. What we're seeing across the nation is this vast cancel culture where we're going to tear down our monuments, uh, we're going to tear down Gandhi, we're going to tear down um, George Washington. We're going to tear down Lincoln. Um, it's really quite appalling what we've seen happen across the country. And um, the president wants no part in cancel culture. He wants no part uh, in the tearing down and defacing of Matthias Baldwin, an abolitionist, uh, Philadelphia Civil War soldiers, uh, John Greenleaf Whittier, vandalized an abolitionist. He wants no part in this. I um, mean, he stands against the demonization of Americans, and he stands firmly on, on the side of preserving our history. Hans Hubbard, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.